This is tutorial number 36, and it covers how to utilize the visible space feature within Katia v5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 36, which is located on the DVD. Now, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to utilize the visible space. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, project edges, and we're going to be using the show height. So this is kind of like a combination of the last few tutorials, and I'm just going to show you how to utilize all these together. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create a sketch on this face here and we're going to say that we want it to be a circle that's the same size as this edge here. So we want it to be uh, touching and we want it to be on that circle there. So to do this let's start off by clicking this face and click sketch and what we're going to do is we're going to project this edge here. So let's click project and now we have this edge here. So now let's create our circle. So let's click circle. And we're able to find the center point of the circle. If you put it on here, you can see that we're getting that dotted line. And as you go down, we're going to get that center point. So we have the center point, And now we're going to drag it out. And we're going to make it touch this edge here. So now we've created our circle. The only problem, though, is that we have uh, two drawings here. We have the circle and we also have the extruded profile behind it. And to actually extrude it out, we need to delete that solid profile behind it. The only way to do that is uh, by swapping the visible space, showing and hiding, and to get rid of that other drawing. So we need to get rid of it because if we don't, we're not going to be able to extrude it out. So to do this, what we're going to have to do is right click on this sketch that we just made click hide and now we're able to see that sketch behind it that we need to delete. If we didn't hide it there'd be no way of selecting that edge and deleting it. So let's click and click delete. Now we'll swap our visible space and it, when we swap we're able to see the drawing that we just uh, hid. So let's right click on it, click show, swap again and now we have our drawing. Now we have this drawing back, we don't have that projected edge behind it, and now we're able to go ahead and either extrude it or use any feature without worrying about that other edge. So this is just an example of how to utilize uh, the visible space, and when you're doing your drawings and uh, creating your sketches, you're going to run into issues like these uh, a lot of times because you're going to have a sketch that you've made, but say an edge that you projected is behind it, and there's no way of getting to it without uh, deleting that one that you just made. So without deleting it, you're able to hide it, uh, delete the original projected edge, swap the space, and bring that uh, drawing that you just made back. And that concludes our tutorial on how to utilize the visible space within Katia v5.